You can pick Luna. Was that it? You're yeah. just playing in the past? Medusa's gone. I think it's just... Big Farmer. It's a TI patch. Luna always comes back at TI. It's just how it goes. Tide always comes back at TI. Yes. That hero is like... Uh, he's a staple. Five yeah. Man always comes back at TI. She that's the... I mean, and that's what's kind of cool about her is that, like, no matter how you build, basically, you can always team fight, and you can yep. always hyper farm, and you can always push. Yep. It kind it kind of covers like everything. She's kind of flexible. Just, I mean, she's kind of like Jug, <laughs> in some ways, yeah. I guess. Just like, eh, it's a pretty stable carry. Not mm -hmm. as necessi not necessarily as safe in the lane, but they've picked it in a situation where they know what she's up against. And right? I would say she farms faster than Jug with yes, no items. For sure. You just need levels, really, obviously. Um. But I like her aura is pretty good this game. More int for Lesh is good. Doesn't matter much for Oracle. It's kind of okay for Clock, but oh, uh, and especially against the supports like against like A or Shaker, especially A. A feels kind of weak here. Like once she gets BKB off, I don't know. They she's they just need some space creation. Oh, and Lesh and Luna together are kind of cool too because Lesh Lesh does so much AOE. All the creeps are gonna die. Then Eclipse only hits heroes. There's like oh, some yeah. kind of cool nice. synergies there. Axe. Hmm. Also, not a hero that we see a whole lot of. Yeah. Um. Another disable. They okay. did need more, especially against Ember. Okay. To me, this this does feel like a pretty, fairly all in -y draft from Sirius, though. Oh, all in -y in what way? They, I mean, they can scale a little bit, but I feel like the Clockwork and the Axe are heroes that fall off a bit later on. Like Axe doesn't seem nearly as good late game as he once was. But you got a hyper carry though. You got a Luna. That's and true. Less track also. Kind of owns so. Yeah, yeah. I I I really believe in in like Sailor's ability to carry out a game. What is the carry hero for RNG? Do you think? They, what they do you What do you want to play against Axe? Are they going to pick like Troll here? That's a good question. I feel like they need something else that can be kind of mobile. Because like right now, I feel like Oracle is going to not be threatened at all. Like outside of like Blink Ravage or Ember Spirit hitting the backline. But even Ember Spirit hitting the backline. Um, Oracle just has to use yeah, second skill against wow. himself. Yeah, they needed like some like high alternate damage, some kind of like burst damage. Okay, but TA into Lesh like into the Lesh axe. Yeah. So ASD and and now it's uh, Ember. What Ember safe lane and TA mid. It's true. It's a little weird. Um, a little left wall. it would be Ember safe uh, against what axe and clock. Sounds okay. I think it'll be fine, right? Wait. Has, oh, my God. Has everybody been disconnected this entire time? No. Did we not notice? Or did everyone just... De have they, been they just DC'd. So they they're probably just remaking. DC'd. These lineups look close to right. So that's probably a remake, right? This, this doesn't seem to be anything too crazy. Uh, and a, a bunch of... Some people picked up their heroes. Yeah, they did. Yeah, some people locked in. So, okay. So, that must have just happened. Um, was is there a new lobby? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So, these are... This is our draft. Wait, what's the... Wait. They, it all oh, just, they were forced. Yeah, it all just, like, snapped in. But. Okay. Now, what's the password? Uh, I will pull it up on my phone and show it to you. Let me do it quick. Okay. Does this make noise if I pull the trigger? Uh, uh, nope. Is that it? Uh, yes. There's yeah. a button. We're in. Let's turn the, the gun go, on. Go, 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 go. Gun used to make noise. Does not make noise anymore. Where are you at? All right. Well, I mean, we're the first ones to realize, caster-wise. I was a little bit worried because we had a lobby remake in the previous game, as well, and it took. We were sitting in the lobby, and it was taking a little while for the, um, like the Russian casters to get back in. I was wondering if they were going to start without them, but they did not. So yeah, we're just waiting for everybody, all the casters, to rejoin. Uh, I think part of it is because there's it, it's probably a similar situation to some other regions where like some of the servers are there's like a slight ping variation or some servers are just broken. So if you connect onto a bad one, then you just have to remake for remake a oh. for a good server. That and there's also like four different server options in there's like in Unicom, China. Telecom, there's a whole bunch of different server options. Are they like region based? China. I mean, China's pretty uh, huge. I think so. They're probably hosted by different companies as well, maybe. It's probably true. Yeah. 
So as we wait to get underway, uh, Basket, I, I got a lot of feedback, got some tweets about this. A lot of people are really curious. Just how did Australia <laughs> lose the war against birds? It's kind of a war of attrition situation from what I understand. There's a lot mm. of birds, and they're really spread out. Australia is a really big country. Uh -huh. Very big. Yeah. So I, I think that was... Would you guys die of dehydration while you're looking for them? Or I, don't, I don't think... I don't know if they took any casualties. I think it was just that there were too many <laughs> and they outnumbered us, so we <laughs> gave up. <laughs> you ran out of bullets. <laughs> Something like that. There, I'll, lo I'll look it up, actually. Yeah, that's I'll, a problem I'll, you I'll, wouldn't have in America. I'll, I'll look up the summary. <laughs> oh, God. It's probably like one politician was like, I'm declaring war. On <laughs> emus. <laughs> That's an enemy weekend. Yeah. Later so they while a number of the birds were killed, the emu population persisted and continued to cause crop destru destruction. <laughs> Outcome, failure. <laughs> See aftermath. Uh, yeah, okay. Is this another one of these situations? Where I've, I've, I've heard about these before. It's moving. Oh, well. Uh, his, na his name is Rob. Yeah. yeah. You guys put Rob in the suit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's trapped. What what um, one in what situations? Uh so have you heard about these situations where like the government tries to create an incentive? There's like a pest animal, right? Yeah. And so they're like, okay, uh, uh, maybe it happened in India where they're like, oh there's th there's these snakes. Yeah. And so what we're going to do is we're going to offer a bounty for the snakes. Yeah. And so and people, people start they people breed start the breeding snakes. the snakes. <laughs> so then they realize that okay, this is a stupid idea. <laughs> also we got we got odds. Oh. Uh, that, uh, yeah, we'll look put, at the odds, okay. guys. Okay, back to it. Oh wait! The 1. Oh, they didn't. Is they high. didn't do all pick. Are they just gonna speed draft? Jesus. Okay, maybe they're just speed drafting. Anyway, um, yeah. So then they they create this incentive. Then they realize, oh no, people are breeding the snakes. This is a terrible idea. Remove the incentive. So they just release all the <laughs> snakes. <laughs> and, and then there's more snakes than you started with. It's like <laughs> they were breeding them to sell them God. after they. I, would I kill don't them think that's what happened Look. with the emus, but they did. Cert they did okay. like try and create. If, if any of you guys are interested in economics, I'll save you a couple hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Don't don't people respond don't to incentives? Whoa! That's it. That's all it is. People respond to incentives, all right? If you're not sure why someone's doing something, think about why they're doing it and what could possibly be motivating them. I'm telling you, it'll blow your mind. Wait, all right. they, I think they disconnected oh the my and god. What motivated you to tell that awful joke earlier? Um, I'm just an entertainer. So people would make more, and I more want, Kyle accounts. I want to make people <laughs> laugh and have a good time. Kyle perch. underscore is underscore bad underscore It's because there's money involved, wasn't there, joke. Kyle? No, I don't get yeah. paid nearly enough for doing this. Let's be completely honest. There's no... Uh, if people I'm not going to get into it. You can pay him in Instagram followers, though. That's true. Those Kyle are worth Friedman, that's my Insta, seven baby. pictures. You can monetize your uh, social media following. Why right? isn't the password working? I don't know. Are you trying to join the right lobby? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay, it worked now. Okay. You did it. I forgot nothing. It's fine. So, Kevin, it's your turn, I think. You've had a couple of hours. Creativity <laughs> can't be forced. <laughs> Kyle. Right, fine. I'll say it again. Do you need a new prop? <laughs> yeah, still, are you still it's really, really fun. You're really happy. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Try it. You're going to get addicted. Dude. I don't think we're allowed to do this. I don't. I don't think. I don't, I don't want it. Pull the clip out. Pull the clip out. Put, the clip out. put it back in. No. I don't want. Fine. You can have it back if you want. I don't I, feel I would like it back. Thank you. you. Huh? You would like it back? Okay. Please. Back to work. Someone. I need coffee. Oops. Help. Help. Oops. Someone. Help. <laughs> it's a great prop. Except Why are we still not changed. in the game? Question: uh, What is happening here? Lanham, Lanham is going Lanham off. Is is writing a lot? I'm going to translate this because I don't know what's happening. Yeah, Give just click drag it. It'll work, I'm sure. Hang on. A Google moment. Translate. Try yeah. using uh, WeChat to translate. What about Battlefish? Let's <laughs> <laughs> not get into that purge. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, oh fuck. Huh. <laughs> Firefly said this question mark hit. Lanham, definitely giving pressure. Engage people? What referee? Firefly, the legs are unloaded. I, wow. <laughs> I don't think You want to try it? Send that one to me again. I, I didn't get it the first time. <laughs> That's what's happening in our lobby chat, guys. And we're here inside of the lobby giving you, wow. the viewer, first-hand information as to the goings-on before the match. Only the begins. best Google Translate here. Sorry, we do not have a translator on staff. Unfortunately, he went home, uh, oh, 12 hours ago when most normal people did as well. 
3 p.m. That's early. I'm getting the sense it's Wednesday. that maybe you would have preferred to have been on a different region, Kyle. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm doing some detective work here. I, you know, I'm really uh, <laughs> really reading your mind. I love it here. You know, it's it's about – it's just about the people I get to work with, you know? It's just a blast. Thanks, man. And, and it's cool. It's cool to be here. It's worth putting up with a uh, lack of sleep. And really, it's just great to hang out. I mean, we're blessed, right? We get to hang out with our wonderful community. And yeah, Twitch. you know, I I feel like I need to. I, I had a moment of like, there are most years I don't even get to do the TI Hub because I live in Australia and it's really far away and it's pretty expensive to bring me here. It's true. And so I feel I'm pretty grateful that I, I get to work it this year. So I'm going to try and do a good job. What's your Instagram? I don't have an Instagram. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well. I have a Twitter, though. You guys can follow <laughs> me on Twitter. What's that? Just at uh, I don't. It? I don't have one of the. I don't have any of these like complicated Twitter accounts mm. like L Deep or something Dota or anything like that. It's Who just knows how many E's there? It, it's just my handle. It's true. Nice and easy. Mm. All right. Uh, Hang on. Okay. Oh, we have a draft. Yeah. This is so. This is all picked this time. So well, they'll, they'll pick all the heroes. Strategy time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We'll get it to you guys. It's it's happening. We're getting this there. game is is getting. We are there. going to play the game. So long like as they remember all the heroes that they picked, but I'm pretty sure that they will. So everybody's locking everything in. Right so, now. um, well, who's gonna win? Their work. <laughs> Did someone just say that their work casualties? I don't. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I need to. I need to get back on this. Uh, Humans died to the birds. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Was it like dehydration or something, or like someone got scratch? Got like a little cut. Got a little gash. I mean, I'm sure they have like some strong kicks that like, can cut you up or something. But Emus can, they can mess you up for sure. I would not want to fight one. Well, there's a lot of Australian animals that can hurt you pretty bad. Yeah, that's what I've heard. But yeah, you guys should come visit. It'll be fun. I'm done. I, a lot of uh, a couple of people told me Melbourne was like their favorite city ever. So, can restart the emu war. <laughs> I mean, be a false flag attack by a bunch of Americans. <laughs> Can we? I really refuse. Please, no. I don't want to enter that rabbit hole. <laughs> What's the rabbit hole? It's, it's humans versus birds, dude. This but is a U- one-sided <laughs> issue. The, the, U- the I think USA everybody's on our side here. <laughs> I don't understand. Policy? What are you talking about, Kyle? Are you one of the fucking birds? I'll shoot you. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> you a bird spy? <laughs> All right. Uh, Game started, guys. Oh, okay, there you go. So we're uh, we're in. We have Firefly on Clockwork. We got ourselves a ready to lane cut axe. We got uh, we got all kinds of stuff going on. So it is actually going to be Lush mid as expected. TA heading mid. Ember in the safe lane, ready to soak up all that farm under the tower while the lane cutting is happening. You know what's my favorite pro player trend is pro players falling back in love with Ironwood branches. They're like, hey. These are good as hell. Three stats for 50 gold? Hell yeah. Yeah. Let's track had three, dude. A whole lunar two? Yeah. It's beautiful. It's value. Look at that. You, you just keep even have the space. Well, now that you have a backpack, you just keep your inventory full at all times. Yep. Like, or value. if you're a bad player, you only buy three items at any point in time. That's true. Like Slex. Why do you think everybody's buying all these Wraith bands and the... Those are too th- advanced for the average player. They, they were also... Is he going to dodge this? Oh, he's punching it. No, he didn't dodge it. He, did he, he tried. He's actually losing a lot of health for this. But Injulai is not interested in skilling Battle Hunger first. You can't. He's got to cut the waves. Yep. Cutting waves is just too good, right? You get the full, you get the lane uncontested, and you can get jungle creeps. Why would you not do that? He's always taking some damage, though. They, they do have a salve on the Oracle, so give him a salve. He's going to run past. Shaker's here, though. Oh. Lanham blocks him in, so he won't be able to get to this next wave. But in July, That's looking huge. like he's actually dead. Side of Fist cooling down soon. Salve immediately getting canceled. Afu's got the Chilling Touch. Can Here he get go. the Vision? Actually, it looks like it is going to be serious. Finding the turn. And another Salve, but one more auto attack wow. from the Oracle. Brings it down. He gets slighted. In July's kind of low. But Was interrupting the, the w- wave cut attempt. I mean, he kind of just stood in the lane. Well, oh, so you're right. He was moving to the right to go the way. You're, you're yeah, no, right. he, he was trying to get over here. That fissure was huge. I, I genuinely thought it was he was going to be completely fine on Axe, get the regen off. But it, yeah. Lanamp, uh, Earthshaker, is 
super boss though. Yes. He's famous for that. He's ditched his uh the old totem. Though. Doesn't have the demolishing king Damn, totem anymore. Okay. Take that Earthshaker. He's got boots. I think he might actually. Is he? Does he have this? All right. There's a salve. I think Lanham wants the salve. Ooh, look though. at the curve. Oh, he almost got that salve full. Mid lane, how are we doing? TA, 6 and 2, Lushrak, 5 and 1. Still very close. Bottom lane, Tide Under's dead. Wow, nice job, sir. Way to catch it. Beautiful. Should have noticed a little bit faster, but that's okay. How come he has one gold weapon, but not two? What's wrong with him? The shield is expensive, actually. Isn't it like $12? I mean, no, it's like 40 Oh, that much? Really? It probably went up after they released the gold weapon as well. Oh, you're probably right, actually. That's definitely got to be it. Because now it's now it actually matches. Now it matches, yeah. Finally. <laughs> do you have the gold shield? I do, but oh, I was nice. considering ditching it at many points. Because it doesn't match anything. Yeah, because it didn't match anything. Yeah. But you can just have the regular shield and the regular glaive. That's very true. If you are a budget hat buyer. Budget beautiful hat buyer. There are some really nice budget hats, actually. That's true. You know what's really dangerous, actually, is to go to a, go to a website that lists all the cosmetics for a hero and shop. And you'll yeah. find all these sets that you think are cool. And you'll go check the price, and you just spend a lot of money. And you're yeah. like, I haven't played this here in six There's months. There's a really cool custom game that lets you try on uh, any combination oh. of... Uh, so you can see what of they items? look like. Yeah, you can see what it looks like. There's, Kyle, what, there's Kyle, also what like a... About that? Huh? Kyle, what do you think about that? You like hats? <laughs> You <laughs> asked me this already. <laughs> I know. Like six hours ago. I know. I'm just filling you in. That's Make all. I don't are like. You, are you hats. the play by play this game as well, or are you, you coffee drinking this game? Um, I, I, I don't know, man. I'm really concerned that if I'm not play by play, I'm gonna end up like just zoning off into the distance, like you just did. <laughs> Why don't you just play your perspective, one hero, or one one player, <laughs> yeah. and just cr and just talk about them? Yeah, How yeah. do you feel about that Slark last game, Perk? I mean, that's basically <laughs> what I do, anyways. Right? <laughs> <laughs> See one item build I hate or like, and I'm like, let me talk about this for 40 minutes. God. So, has the weatherman segment warped your mind? <laughs> just, uh, just focusing on uh, mm. one specific. It wasn't thing. the weatherman segment. No, but it was something in the air. I don't. I don't know where you're going with this. Yeah, look, I'm it's a joke about doing it. Like what? love is in the air. Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, yes. Uh, love and love blinds. I like this clock versus tide thing. It's just really running cool. at him. Yeah. Like and also, well, they, they can't bring a support bottom to help because yep. everybody's busy running or running after this axe. Yeah. And even if they did, honestly, A Shaker just can't do anything to it. I think this is already looking Is he dead? Good. All right. TP in from the Ember. Land him surviving, but not for long enough. Monet comes in, does not have any points in the chains, but just going to run him down. All right. What's he going to miss for this, though, is the question. Ooh. Anything? The Ember. Oh, he was the, the safe yeah, laner. Yeah, he's the safe laner. Oh. I was thinking he was mid. All right, <laughs> Clockwork dead. ASD. Eh, taking a little bit of damage, but he's going to be okay. So they were just trying to gank this TA with the Clockwork, but that did not work. Yeah, there's like a, there's like a whole wave plus that's getting killed here. And the Oracle's actually just holding all of the creeps for I the axe. I'm so. sure that A would have loved all that experience. Yes, but he doesn't have anything. He's got Except no for that stick. This is a value brand. That brown and sticky. Yep. Get the call. Over onto the Ember Spear. He's taking some damage. They do actually get the stun over onto Angel. He's still spinning somehow. He can't see it, but it's there. When the urge spin comes, dude, you just got to spin. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, Silar has 24 denies. That's beautiful. He's very farmed on this lane. They have completely shoved Flyby out of this lane. He is uh, retreated to the jungle. Are there any ancient stacks with this TA or Tide? No, none yet. And uh, Firefly, once again, wrapping around here on the mid lane. ASD salving up. Can they actually go for this kill, though? He's got the stun, but second refraction coming out. It's kind of cool. Hit the cog to push himself away. I'm just, I'm looking at Silar, guys. This is uh, one of that's the, the that, Wow, that's, uh, that's, that's one of the few players. One of the only players to be top three. I didn't realize at three Twitch chat TIs. was named Silar, dude. That's uh. Sorry. That's My bad. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. Right. That is your. All right. That is Come your back. Back. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm just trying to connect with the audience. Okay. 
Anywho, so Silo is fine. <laughs> tell me about tell me I about his TI wreck. I was just sitting there. He's got this grin on his face. He still just got the gun as well. <laughs> Just in case anyone was wondering. Makes Kevin just sitting on the couch playing makes me with feel his, safe. Playing with the gun in his lap, eh? That's just typical Kevin. make you guys feel safe. Monet, right. still got the flame guard for a decent duration. You can keep running forward. Cogs nice push cogs. back. Okay, Firefly keeping himself alive. So Siler went 2 0 is, is he, is he going to max the aura all the way? Is that I common? think so. Yeah, you get two points beam, skip alt, and then uh, if he decides he wants to go jungle, he'll just max out. Oh, there he's small. Unless you can kill Tide for free. Then here, this is the issue. Very close. Because then your Eclipse is kind of Weak. garbage. I mean, but if he gets the kill, You might still, still get worth. him, right? I guess he's good. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. That's yeah. really nice. 250. Yeah, but he, he wants to in be able to max Glaive's ASAP because that yeah. last uh, level when you get six bounces starts to make ancient farming real value. I mean, all farming is good. So mid lane's very even. So Firefly coming in here, getting the D ward, leaving the sentry for his mid laner as well. Oh, Monet actually killing off the axe once again. It's nice. It, he's Hopefully. got to be the one that does it, right? Because no one else can rotate top. Yeah, no one else really has the, the damage yeah. at the moment. And bottom's a completely dead lane. Not now the Eclipse is gone. So what's the farming build for the Linda this game? Looks like he's going maybe for Yasha yeah. first. Yep, you go Yasha. Um, the Manta's pretty value. There's, there's Manta's so good. There's on. a reasonable amount of stuff to dispel. I, you Manta rush if you can. At some point, you're going to want BKB in this game, I think. You just farm so fast, too. Like, yeah. the, the last time I played it, I would just send Manta illusions down a wave. I'd get, like, at least one full creep I've killed with Glaives. It's insane. It's, like, the best Manta hero for sure. Same logic as, like, Medusa, right? It always Better gives, you the, Except you're gives way you the faster. plus one wave. Yeah. Your movement speed's so much higher. Sets you missing a couple CS. You're just, like... You saw that like brain fart? <laughs> He's like, oh wait, there's creeps there. Ah. Yeah. It's even um it's like damage instances against the TA as well, right? If you're just I think slaves are just bouncing everywhere. What's your infraction gonna do? <laughs> so that's pretty nice. Yeah. Force the TP on Lanham all the way back to base as well. It's so easy to rotate as the slush shark. Love the hero. One edict with no glyph and it's a easy tower kill. Feels like the axe pick just like ruined both of Royal's supports, doesn't yeah. it? It's like they they might have had a game plan, but just got destroyed. I do still think that the axe can fall off from here pretty sure. quickly. Like okay. doesn't even, doesn't have the vanguard just yet. The concern I have is that I think that it, it doesn't matter. He's still the BKB piercing disable to so set True. up the damage of the Silar Luna, the follow up stun of the Leshrac. It's just you have save as well, whereas RNG like their supports are fully aggressive. What's the Lesh build this game? Do you think just uh, does he get Yules? Is there any reason to get Atos instead of Yules? Atos seems to have fallen off as the build. Like when Lesh was getting picked and he was crazy popular in like off lane slash four, there was always yeah. Atos rush, and then Atos got nerfed a little bit, and people seem to be back to Yules. What got nerfed on it? It was just like a little bit of stats. Uh, like cast range as well, didn't it? Or did they not touch the cast? Can't range? remember. I thought it was just the stats. The numbers became a little bit less generous. Um. I don't know. I don't know why it's fallen off so much. Not enough damage or something. All right, Oracle wanted to come and plant down a ward, but RNG are not going to let him up on that high ground. Very quickly bringing him down. 10-minute bouncy's coming up soon. Looks like it should be a 2-2 two -two split. 530,000 edict building damage. This man plays... Oh, he actually does play a lot of Lesh. Is that a, is that a blue symbol? It is. Yeah. We got a Lesh spammer. What's the blue? That's the one just before Master, right? It's just the. Um, it's the same one as the like. Oh yeah, yeah. There's the, yeah. There's the level twenty-five. There's the twenty-five. One, but it's the yeah. one right before it. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. a it's a big boy medal right there. And the tower goes down for the lift track. It's high skill dude. You press his W. <laughs> it's one of my favorite heroes. I remember. I remember that one time you played last and you left your ulti at level one for like way too long. That's what you're supposed you to do. You were like level. You were like level twenty-three it, or some shit. It farms really efficiently with one point. But what twenty-three? It was something All right, maybe like I don't have your back. It was something ridiculous. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Uh, I don't think it was funny. I think Purge is just exaggerating. He's known to do that. It was really late. Purge is one of those guys like it's tough to take him seriously. Yeah, it? always difficult. All right, Flamegar getting purged oh off, God. and a pause. Good luck, have fun. Can I ping these? I can. You've ruined how many broadcasts? <laughs> uh, four. Yeah. It's like 100,000 people <laughs> had to read that shit. Thanks, dude. He went back in. 
Okay. How many trees did he just eat? Yep. In July, wants him. Scares them back. All right, the TA is still just chilling bottom, going for the Desolator first. So, nice farming item. And the, the TA, pretty big, but Silar is the number one net worth on the map. Soaking up all this space. Uh, has maxed out the Blessing already, and it now going back for the Moonglaives. Yep. Definitely feeling good. We'll be that Manta Rush as our yep. uh, professional um, analyst purge predicted. Rolls up oh. on now. Clockwork is trying to TP out, but it gets immediately canceled by Lanham, and now they're actually coming in here to try and kill him off. Also some action on the other side, Monet going up against the Axe. Firefly in pretty deep with no TP scroll. He is looking pretty dead. Nice light chains. That's Got to get those. He's been really annoying, though. Like, he's Locker. playing in an aggressive position. He's forcing his opponents to spend a lot of time chasing him. You know, They're getting the kills, but, like, Luna kills two neutral camps in the same amount he's, of time. He's keeping them away from Silar, right? That's got to be the, true. the key. The concern I have is that there are no ancient stacks. For who, Dyer? For Radiant. You think they need it for Luna to be effective? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I mean... I don't think I don't I just don't feel like Silar's far enough ahead to be confident just yet, especially against AA, because you don't True. have that timing with Satanic where you're not indestructible. It's yep. the same way AA beats Gyro in a lot of ways. You're a low HP hero, and you prefer um, survivability based around lifesteal, which is just not yep. a possibility in this game. Uh, Oracle, of course, being behind him does help that though, because you yep. can just pop the ulti for save and ensure that you'll get healed up as the ice blast fades. You got to make sure that you uh, you wait a little bit on the ice blast, right? Because the <coughs> of how the duration lines up, it's got to be like midway through. They so just buffed ice blast by one second too, so it might be a little bit different. Tips the matchup a little bit. Orange going for smoke, coming forward. They do spot the clockwork, but Firefly happier that he tanked the gank than yeah, anyone so else. MC once again buys a lot of time. Yeah, Linus is hitting ancients in the meantime. So that was probably like a six stack or something. And okay, they're gonna get this gonna get this tower down. Oracle does not have a TP, so he's holding his breath in this tree line, hoping that TA doesn't put down yet another trap. How long can you hold your breath? Uh not very long, actually. It's not something that I've practiced. How about you? Thirty you seconds. You a swimmer? No. Okay. Do you have a stopwatch? Yeah, I do. We all have phones. Alright, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hold up. Here you are, yeah. You got it, you got it. Kyle will time I'll, 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 No, no, you time no. him. I'll, I'll time I'll okay. make sure we stay focused on the game. Okay. I'll, I'll, how about I time myself and then tell nah, you guys? That's nah, cheating. Yeah, that's, that's cheating. Doesn't you think I'm just going to lie? I have way too <laughs> oh. much integrity for that. <laughs> Alright. Go for it, Kevin. Right. I believe in you. Don't look at me. <laughs> that's that's really you can't look at me while I do this. You got you got you got you got to oxygenate wait, first. Ready, you yeah. gotta, can, we put, can we get a single on Kevin? No. Like dude, there's a don't no, dude. No? Unless this is unless for there's TI. unless there's what pitcher in pitcher. No. All right, hang on. There it is. All right. The the names. Ah, that's the best we got. Okay, that works. Okay. Oh, hook it. Onto the Tide Hunter. He does still have the hood and the Ravage. Connects onto four. They're going to go for the Leshrac first. He manages to use the Ice Blast, blocking some damage. Silar trapped nice on the salt. other side of this Fisher. He can't get into the fight with his teammates. Lanham's getting burned down, but isn't enough damage. ASD, is he going to end up surviving? He will, and they've caught one more. Ancient Apparition in the river as Sirius will take a three for nothing. That was a sick fight. Great positioning as well from the Oracle. There's no way to kill the Leshrac. Excellent job. Uh, uh, update on uh, Purge, we're up to 33 seconds. 37 seconds. He's he's doing it. Stop moving around, you're wasting all your oxygen. <laughs> all right, Yule's up onto the Templar Assassin. Plenty of instances to get through this refraction. They also bring a dust, and that is going to be a kill for Sirius. As Purge comes up on one minute. 55, 56, 57, Ice Blast lands. You're breathing through your nose. He's I, not, he, I, I he's believe not. him. He can, he's not talking. I believe he wants him. to conserve his oxygen. Okay. Ember is going Maelstrom into a BKB. Did not take uh, either talent at level 10. So opting to level up his skills a little bit more. And Leshrac, what's he going for? Is this... Okay, BOT is coming in. So the... Ken, are you still going? Kind of the Sumail build. Yeah. What the hell? 
Are this you is okay. okay. Don't pass out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a minute. What do we got? Minute thirty. <laughs> minute thirty-four. Minute thirty. What the hell? It was, starting to get, it was starting to get uncomfortable. I'm pretty like when I was at one minute, I was like totally fine. I was like, wow. <laughs> this is, I was like, do I even need to breathe? <laughs> I was thinking. It's all the casting. We are in space, dude. so I don't, I don't maybe know. you've adjusted. It could be something like that, actually, genuinely, because I, I spend a lot of time talking on stream and just continuously. Yeah, yeah. I, there could there could definitely be some like oh. thing where I, like or like recording scripts and stuff. You spend a lot of time talking. You don't spend as much time breathing in first. Mm. There could definitely be something. All right. Lots of heroes running at Silar and Firefly. Firefly more than willing to put his life on the line for his Luna. Back to the gun. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Silar going for the Dragon Lance. What's the Against Cogs. Uh, with Cogs in the game, it can be kind of nice, I would argue. Yeah. Um, Fisher maybe as well. Your, your, your raw HP is a little bit weak, I would argue. Um, I guess he's just kind of delaying the BKB a little bit as well. It's like a nice but filler it's item. It's so inexpensive. It's like 1900 right? It's sure. I don't know. It's just it's a good value item. Oh, no. Well, the, illusion, the illusions don't even hit. Like, look at, look at the damage on this yeah. building. Hey. You can take OG for right. that. What yeah. do you think about, do you want odd or even? Base kit. Uh, even. Okay. You play by play even minutes, I play by play odd minutes. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Uh, you think you're going to be able to pay attention to this with ex your exactly. sleepy state? Exactly. That's the point. So you'll just All stop right, talking. I'm, I'm evens. All right. You and we have it. to trade off. When it hits that minute mark, just boom. I, is that just during team fights, though? Oh, no. What do you mean? So, like, all, all the time. So you're play by play right now. Yes. But, like, if they were to start fighting, as soon as it hits zero, right? Yes. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just mean if you mean alternatively, you could do day or night. Ooh, no, I, I don't know. Odds and not even sounds uh, more interesting. Got it. All right. Well, we've got a fight approaching as we see the smoke gang coming. All right. Well, yep. Now smoke coming in. Smoke on smoke. Who's on the low ground? Smoke breaks. They do get the jump in. It's immediately onto the Templar assassin hook, getting blocked by the AA. It seems. So can they actually get out here on in July? Ravage is going to keep him locked down. They bring down one. This should just sound the retreat for Sirius, I imagine. Clockwork, pretty tanky. They're actually going to save him with the ult, and they're trapped inside the cogs. Oh, and down comes the Eclipse. So much damage from the side of Sirius. The Clockwork even surviving. Setsu going back in, but just dealing with the Luna illusions. RNG, what are they up to here? Lanham taking some damage. Doesn't have the Blink Dagger yet. He just gets walked down by Dude. Firefly's Clockwork. Setsu held that meld strike for what felt like way too Afu's long. Afu's also just dead. Silo's going to run him down. Other side oh of the fight. God. Yule's up on the TA. We've seen him die in this situation before. ASD just face tanks him. And that is yet another kill. Sirius walking away with this game. It looked so bad when, when Axe got picked off, basically. Because it would have been an okay fight if the hookshot landed, because there would have been more team fight disruption. But... It was really hard for, for Sirius to go in. Ravage only killed one, so I think it's the big thing, yeah. right? The Ice Blast and the Ravage only for to Axe. To kill Axe, yeah. Yep. And the Meld Strike, too. And that means that Silar all of a sudden has a completely free time playing around the fight. And now his game's blown up. He's 5 0 6. Yeah. I, he's, I, he's getting out of control. I don't know, like, people f I think people slept on Luna a little bit too long. She still farms stupidly fast. She really does. That's true. And she has a really strong team fight ultimate that's just foolproof. If everybody's super hype on Sven, like, Luna also farms really quick. Yeah. And, and she's so. a ranged hero. And her movement speed is much faster. She's not so item timing. Uh, item, item independent. You just need, like, six. And you can actually do get kills, yeah. solo kills. There are some heroes that she struggles to man fight and, like, scale against. But this game, RNG have the Ember safe lane. And the TA. Jumping call, just gonna catch these ancients. Alright, trouble for Axe, but once again, a lot of spells being used on him. The Fates Edict helping out, and now sliding past with the hook shot. Echo Slam getting dropped. Lanham just trying to get out any damage that he can before he dies. Axe is dead. Buyback now coming in. They wanna keep this Lush Rack here. Oh, they want to the focus elder. him down. Couldn't quite get it there in time for the Oracle. Firefly also gonna end up dropping, and Setsu finds a triple as now it's Monet's turn to keep on chasing. Oracle purging, trying to keep himself alive. So I was going to double Luna. damage. Doesn't have the BKB in his inventory just yet, though. Uh, but they do let the Oracle go. Concern is that right now, I just don't know if you have the damage to deal with the Luna. Like, uh, yeah, how do they kill and, him and with BKB? You, and who outscales Luna? He's going to get not the TA. He's going to get Butterfly next, right? And then just mean. not care about TA at all. Exactly. I mean, they're going to they're gonna have to, like, stun into Ice Blast Killer. They need this Link Dagger. 
Lanham still trying to farm it up. Yeah. I really like the casual dragon lance on Silar as well. Why do you, why do you think it's good? Uh, we were you're talking about it. You got a clock on your team. Yeah, you that's need, what I said. You need the extra range. Confirmed you weren't listening. What do you mean? I'm we talked about this like 15 minutes ago. I think it's a very important point, and I appreciate that you made it, but I do think that Thank it's... Thank you for it backing bears, me up with your superior repeating. MMR. Yeah. No worries, Kev. I what got about you. against Fisher, Kyle? How about Fisher? Eh. Not as good. You're not going to stand on one side you, of the Fisher. You plan to play around people. your own team, you know? It also allows you to be a bit further back so that Oracle can play around your positioning more easily. Mm. Is it definitely... Butter here, there's no like Nascati. Nah, there's no other item. Butter's just Butter too good, first. right? It's yeah, it's yeah. so good. And then it helps you from the next item faster as well. Yeah. So problem is it's got high fat content, so you don't want too much of it because it can be unhealthy and that leads oh, to uh I got a discussion. Kyle, what's your favorite dairy product? I don't have one. Well, that's not true. Ice cream. I'm lactose intolerant. Are you? Yes. You poor uh poor yes. person. Because I love cheese. Macaroni and cheese, if you make some, my, my cousin Josh has this recipe. It involves four different kinds of cheese. Talking about Chef Josh. Three different kinds of breadcrumbs. Bake it in the oven. Oh, baby. Talking about Chef Josh. I'm talking about Chef Josh. Okay. The Chef Josh? The Chef Josh. The one and only. Smoke coming out. Mm, dire making moves. RNG looking to engage, but on top no. of the hill. Oh, they find the clock, but the Oracle gets blocked off as well. Lanham's going to move forward. That's an easy kill, but Setsu's already wait, used wait, his wait. free 10 second BKB. What? Is it, it oh, it's an even. It's right. even, yeah. Oh, well, what's going on? All right, in July, now gets the taunt <laughs> over onto the Ember Spirit. Firefly trying to hook out. He's got that Meld Strike following him. He's gone. Double kill for the TA. Triple kill now. Silar pops the BKB, but it's not the fight. It's just to run. Might be able to turn around on the Shrine. RNG needs to be a little bit careful of this fight. Silar popping everything on the hill. Can oh, he actually the kill them? The pursuit. Yeah. The Fisher's gonna land. Land him moving forwards as well. Why didn't you just TP out, Silar? You had a teleport available with the BKB, but he goes down instead. That's a four for zero. I am also very confused. When he dropped, when he dropped the Eclipse, I was kind of like, really, really, <laughs> yeah, right, oh, really. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that was really bad, actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's not gonna work. All who, right. Who, who, who canceled their TP? Somebody almost teleported. It must have been the Lash. Right? Debated is doing that, dude. So, like, can we turn this around? Probably not, actually, with no axe and no clockwork. They need one of those two heroes to, like, frontline and catch, at least, right? I think if they both fought, they had a chance. For yeah. Sure. I, I think the problem is, as soon as the Eclipse gets popped and RNG see it, they just kite for a second, right? And then they come back in. So. All together. Yeah. Well, now they have themselves a uh, an Aegis on this TA. TA gonna be going for Butterfly next. L and Luna's game all of a sudden actually oh, going, Scotty. getting leapfrogged. You know, in some ways Scotty's super good this game because like TA's never gonna beat her solo if she has Manta available. So if you can just keep the slow on her, it's kinda good against yeah. Ember too until he gets eggs. I feel like Sirius haven't taken a fight together for a while. I know they're probably not going to for another five minutes. ASD is just gonna keep slip pushing lanes and uh yeah, I guess they just wait for this butterfly. Oh, I mean, the Scotty on the, the wing. Any other plays they can make? How's his axe doing? He had, well, he's got the BKB recipe here, but then he's also got the blade mail components mm. before that. So I imagine he's just going for the BKB, but how do you feel like the axe's impact is doing? after? It was a pretty free start, right? He died a couple of times, but got a lot of farm. I think he did his job. It's just a tough game for him. He's tanked deaths in a couple of these team fights. Really, it's just serious. Not making moves is five. Bounty yeah. Rune spawn. They're going to get a two for two trade. Like, Silar was so far ahead of the game. He got his BKB, but then they just stopped. Yeah, they like, haven't taken a single fight with, like, a five on five yeah. with the BKB. You know, he is going for the Scotty before the Butterfly. I think partially just because he recognizes that they've they've lost their edge, right? And no longer can he rely on the damage advantage, he's got to actually ensure he has the survivability to deal with an Ice Blast Ravage combo. But it's only going to stop TA from hitting him is the problem. Yeah, exactly. Because eventually uh, Ember's going to hit 20 and then he's probably going to get the True Strike talent, I assume. And instead you've got Setsu going for the Butterfly. I really like that decision. Luna not an MKB yep. hero. She can definitely do it, but... Doesn't want to. You just want to get, you want to get like your Butterfly Scotty Satanic, right? Just click everybody down. They have the blink on Tide now too. This is huge. They have to find the Oracle, but he effectively gets two shot by the TA. 
And with Oracle's new the, the cast range, he has to be really close behind. Mm -hmm. So you just blink past that core a little bit. Ravage gets popped. What do you do? Oh. And RNG actually smoking up back into their own jungle, hoping to find some some serious heroes. Looks like they will miss on this, but still nice to come in here, get some D wards, reclaim control. They're definitely they have the team fight edge right now with the blink and the the Aegis. Maybe. Guess it depends on vision and initiation, like always. Mm. Okay, they're they're just going for a multi BKB timing on Sirius. Like they want BKB Axe, they want BKB Lesh. Makes sense. It's very good against uh, Ember, Tide, or Shaker type, Shaker, you know. AA, everybody that isn't Templar Assassin, basically. Yes. Does her Meld Bash at twenty five go through BKB? Yes. Ah. That's just so good. It's very good. Everyone's really loving the eggs on the Ember Spirit. Yeah. It's just good. They're just so mobile. Yeah. Yeah. No like reason to go Desso. He has already got it. Mm, no other item really helps you here either. Yeah. You could have a Shiva's theoretically, but the Ags just gives you so much mobility, and you have no longer any catch problems, especially when you have hero like Shaker behind you. Like, the two of you, you just force BKBs so easily. If not, you find kills. Uh, double BKBs picked up on Sirius. These might have been the items they were waiting for to start making moves, but I just feel like they've lost the edge. However, one fight will turn things around. The sustained DPS on RNG is still low, and TA still can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Luna too easily, even with that butterfly advantage. And I like this. Uh, Silo's actually going for the butterfly of his own. I think he might Wait, have to. He went back. Yeah, because he, when he sees line. the butterfly on TA, he knows the MKB won't come out, so he equalizes the DPS and, um, like, head-to-head -head advantage. Yep. Whereas if he went Scotty and TA would have butterfly, mm. he would just always lose the trade, basically. Yep, She exactly. would kill him first. Hmm. see here. 28 minutes in. Just a 1k gold lead for Sirius. They're going to smoke up, but I'm pretty sure they saw that, right? There was a hero on the low ground, and there was a ward in the lane. They ping it out. Rocket will land. Hits flyby, but he's going to just drive by and continue going. No reason to stick around. They know Radiance on the move. Aegis is out. They are looking for something. It's really hard to fight. Look at all this vision. And they see the ward now. Now they know. Yeah, they know where they're at. Okay. And they've already... Ember's over at top. He does have a remnant right here. So they can fight if need be, but it looks like they're not interested. Actually, the, they get the scout onto Flyby straight into the hook. Nicely done. By Firefly. You're up. I, I was going to say it's really hard to smoke in your jungle like that and fight, but but they do have Luna Aura, so they, they had good vision at least. Kyle, are we doing this bit or yeah, not? Yeah, we are. We doing we the are. bit? God damn it. I was like, uh, I wanted to let you finish because he was dead. I didn't know yeah. you would like, lead the entree. Or allow the entree. All right. Oh, they may push here. There's no t Ravager, sure. no tie for 20. I think you yeah. keep going. Yeah, just go poke and prod a little bit. Yeah. Why not? Do a little damage. Do a little, little dance. The, the, the glyph is on cooldown. Nope. All right. They're not interested. I guess they maybe just don't have vision that they're comfortable with. Probably worried about, like, Fissure into Ravage buyback or something. That's true. You do need to be cautious of Lanham now. This man has a reputation. They aren't going to be able to control the bounty runes. That's probably the reason they don't, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Five seconds away from that 30-minute mark. Are they going to get all of them, though? Rocket Flare's going to scout this top one. So they see that it's there, and it hasn't been grabbed quite yet, but Sirius would have to swap sides of the map completely. Maybe they'll get one more. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like Afu's going to just stick his neck out. They don't really have... The Dyer don't really have a whole lot of vision in this area, but... And they do actually have a nice ward over at mid, scouting the fact that Sirius are walking uh, instead of mass DPing or anything. Shiva's up on ASD. All right, that armor's going to be super important, right? He, he hardly had any before. And it's so key now, the AA with the four staff along with the Shakers, so neither hero now fears the clock too much, and they're able to help their Tidehunter, who, because he's trying to help out his boys, has the pipe and the blink, no force of his own. Right, they're putting Firefly out in front. He's willing to tank. I have an engagement brewing. They're thinking about it. 
the queen of octrine next interesting the one ward, the smoke will be squandered, but in both teams, you know, it seems like the tail of the meta in this qualifier so far. Very methodical, careful play. No teams making huge mistakes. Just trying to cut their losses, preserve their chip counts, so to speak. I wonder if uh, Lesh went the lightning slow talent and got an eggs, if he could, if it would be enough to, like, prevent Ember from using his ultimate well. I think without eggs it would, pretty sure, but... Nobody ever gets that one though. No. Double Phoenix is really good against uh, TA, anyways. So, despite queuing up the Scotty, Silo did end up going for the butterfly. Yeah, we said that. We had yeah. a discussion. Kevin, why aren't you calling out Basket, huh? What? My bad. Are you holding your breath again? No. That's. He's a good. He's the right. He's the good cow. What? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Because you're the fat cow, remember? <laughs> <laughs> That's not okay to <laughs> say. I wish I said that, not me. Who? <laughs> Some people <laughs> he's say he's that you're the fat he's cow. He's paraphrasing, okay. Kyle. It's fine. Not me. I didn't say that. You worked out yesterday, right? I heard. Oh. There you go. You're just bulking, dude. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Nothing to say, Kev? I was going to say cultivating mass, but that's kind of weird. <laughs> 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 we are in space, after all. Did you know all mass has gravity? That's crazy, right? Yes. Easy. I did yep. And exerts gravity. You, so, for example, yep. you're exerting Vision. more gravity than I am right now. All right. It's, it's all right. Oh. Jump in. They found the Earth Shaker. Can they force that from away? No, the Cogs with the pushback. They do still save him, though. BKB's getting popped. They're trying to chase down Landum. Can he turn this around? He's still pretty tanky, but he does get chain stunned, and he's dunked. Does have a buyback. Sirius using a couple of BKBs to force this fight. Or just the one. Okay, no, they did use the Axe BKB as well. Yeah, poke and prod, get that kill. Think about forcing the buyback. And look at the Roshan. Kind of a garbage eclipse. A lot of BKB heroes in the front. Yeah, hang on. They're going to rock it forwards. They will oh have vision here. God. The spirit forwards as well. Just a little bit of a juke to frighten them. You want to try and buy time for Lanam. Would prefer to save that buyback if possible. Blade mail will be completed soon in the axe. we got level 25s on the horizon as well. The big one is that Lashrak. You get double edict once you get that 25 talent. Plus 40 explosions. Usually you've got 40 as well. So... It's pretty broken, actually. Value. You talk about Absolutely. the best 25 talent, I think that might be it. Not the auto ball remnant? The auto, auto ball lightning remnant? Dude, his that edict would do uh, what, 4,000 damage. It's 4,000 physical DPS yeah. in it's, 10 it's seconds. That's definitely very good. I don't know. Physical damage in the late game. They jumped in. Oh, they got yeah, one. They got Tidehunter. <laughs> caught. Brought oh, down. Oh, hook. Oh, oh, push pushback. Monet, can they actually kill him off? No. But Tide immediately buys back. Oh, sorry. I'm stepping on your toes here, Cal. It's fine. You're up anyway. All right. Yeah. Up right now. That was a lot of damage. Oh, Axe kind of getting caught, but he does have the BKB. Will he use it? Yes, he does. Walks it off in July. Doing okay. ASD looking for some kind of initiation in the trees, but Monet finds him with the slight. Tidehunter jumps in, but he immediately gets yields. ASD does have the BKB, but he still gets caught by the Fisher. Going to pop the BKB. They've also used the False Promise, so now they're trying to kite him, but ASD won't have it. Forces the BKB out of Setsu. In July now catches him with the call. Trying to drag him back. Ember's going to commit in. The Fates Edict tries to save him, but it's not going to be enough. And Setsu's looking for a little bit more. Can't quite get the Melt Strike, so Oracle survives for a second longer. But they still find him with the chase down. Man, a lot of teamfights happening on even minutes. Yeah, this, for uh, real, dude. <laughs> this game. <laughs> Just wait. Ten more seconds. Maybe it's because the bounty runes have been you know, primarily even minutes. It just creates the, this rhythm through the game. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Man, MKB up on the Lanham. TA of Setsu. Bounty runes are spawning. As you said, Lanham is going to get caught. Monet has to take it away here. Buyback. Huge ultimate from Lanham with the AA blast on top. The belt forwards as well. Injulai and Firefly are down, but Silo with the ultimate up and the BKB going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Setsu. Might be able to take him down, but the four staff away. He does not get there in time. He had meld up in just one second. The Lashrak of ASD now going to continue to pursue Monet. He got that bottled rune of the bounty, so he's actually got the mana to pursue. They've got Pipe up, but level 25 on ASD, you can see that Edict damage starting to add up. He's got BKB in just one second. Might look to pop it, and yes, he does fly by. Most likely going to go down, but Setsu, now he's level 25. He's got the Melt Hit Bash. He can look to get aggressive now. Going Manning up against Silar. Firefly looking to continue to pursue. Silar Ooh. just goes down. No survivability whatsoever now that the MKB is up on the TA. ASD. He's gonna, oh, he blinks right over the TA trap. Might have been in big trouble. Otherwise, Lanham continuing to find initiations. A huge echo to open that fight. 
And a great start for RNG. Siler bought an Axe. That's he an he, axe, he yeah. doesn't have a uh, buyback. <laughs> what, 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 what? Why did he buy an Axe? What? I feel like he kind of uh, threw the game by buying an Axe. I feel like genuinely. he... What the... F like, against BKB, it is not good. What? What? Yep. How is that the item here? You're playing against Ember Spirit TA Tide. They've got a pipe. Are they just doing it to like try and kill the tide in the duration of the call? I don't know. Are you gonna try and like put it on the on the axe? Yeah. I guess. I feel like people never cast it on their allies. They always just like ground cast yeah. it. What my the? Too. Also, there's a butterfly on the TA. You really the saw it in the last fight. Like yep. they, he killed the TA the one time, but that second time that he got gone on when TA had BKB. Died so easily, he d and he couldn't even get close to fighting. Right. And like his twenty, he doesn't have his twenty-five talent on Luna yet, right? It's either the Eclipse mini stun or the life steal. But it's thirty percent life steal. It's not bad, right? If yeah. you just went MKB and got thirty percent life steal, that's pretty good. It's yeah. Like a really solid item, essentially. But instead, I assume he's gonna, gonna get the mini stun. Yeah, I have some. I have some concerns about this axe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, could you voice that? Yes. Uh, it's bad, I think. <laughs> Brutal. How oh, bad? All right. The best thing about it is Game that losing. The best thing about it, though, is he can replace it really soon. For the low, low price of $2,000. That's, That's true. Right. You know what else you can buy for $2,000? Half of an MKB. Man, if if one gold is $1, then farming creeps is... uh this this is way is better than minimum wage. It's lucrative, yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, but how, can you actually... How much damage would you... What's your what's your base attack? Mm. Oh yeah, what's my base attack? Yeah, probably, probably not very high. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're like worse than a kobold. <laughs> how f how ferocious are these lane creeps though? These they have swords and shit, dude. <laughs> I guess they like one shot all of us. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely it? don't have good armor. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How much? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how We're all zeros, dude. How strong is the shopkeeper? <laughs> he doesn't have any stats, unfortunately. He's in the mafia, dude. They don't <laughs> fuck with him. All right. Well. Uh, now what? I don't know. Let's goes you for even minutes, dude. This Octane. is all you. Uh, okay, yep. This isn't. No, you just take over. Yeah, okay, yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I gave you all what, the so I, I just I just talked for the whole even minute. Yeah. <laughs> then maybe Kevin <laughs> covers anal he covers analysis for the odd minutes, and then you <laughs> no. do play by Kevin, play for Kevin odd only minutes. breathes on odd minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> how's he supposed to help you? Here? <laughs> trying to increase my my st uh, stamina by the by the next time. Yep. I don't know if uh, Lesh should go Octarine. That feels a little bit weird to me, too. But wh what's the other item? What else does it Like, it gives you lifesteal, right? And yeah. the lower cooldowns is nice, especially for, like, Edict and stuff. But it's not like... It's not like, like wow. What, what is he, maybe Hex? You want Hex instead? I, I really like, like Hex. Hex here. I think that's... Yeah. Hex is, like, like always that. the game-winning item. It would make it would make the, the Ags on Luna way better. Yeah, it, it makes Hex. his Blink much better as well. That's true. Blink Hex the TA and just doesn't get the BKB off. There, are, there is double four staff on uh, RNG. That's true. But still. The thing is, there's no counter initiation for a BKB Lesh. Like, you can't peel them off. So, yeah. if he's quick about it, it's still just tons of damage. He's got the ED explosion. Sirius only needs to win, like, one team fight with no buybacks to just take exactly. the whole base, right? This yeah. game is actually kind of perched on Knife Edge, especially once the TA Aegis wears out. Because then she's, there's going to be a window where TA has no Aegis but also no buyback. So they're going to have to back off at that point and let Sirius come and get close to their base, which is scary. And Sirius, are they kind of playing for that timing? Minute and a half. They just realized that Lesh is real farming. He's going to buy an Ags at some point because he's rich as hell. We're going to see it. And I got excited. I mean, he's got like 6,600. He's queuing up the Octarine or whatever. What is he, What is he going to sell, Yules or something? I don't, or have an Octarine swap out his BKB when he uses? Yeah, maybe. He's going to do it. And so it's about damn time. Glyph getting forced out. Did go for the Melbash, as we've seen multiple times. Uh, poor Firefly still level 15. All right, they jump in. They get the call. I think they're just trying to kind of keep them here. There's some Luna Illusions pushing bottom. They yeah, were not expecting this jump from Injulai, but Injulai is just getting melted. They're going to try and save him with the Oracle, but does he have enough healing? They're still just jumping him. In the back lines, they have found the supports. Lanham getting chased down. And Afu as well, also isolated from the team, but they lose Axe and the Oracle over by the base. Silar's still in here. Ravage getting thrown out. They're just focusing on Firefly. Ravage gem, only for the clockwork. Yeah, he's got the gem. Uh, ASD's coming oh, back gosh. in. They can fight on the shrine. Afu taking some damage. Setsu, Age is still only there for another 25 seconds. 
But ASD coming back down into a world of hurt. Does he have the survivability? He doesn't. Silo just trying to man fight. Can he do it? That's the first life. Monet a little bit low. They buy back on ASD. TA. Oh, can nope. flick away? Yep, doesn't have the BKB, but just going to turn around and do the damage to the Lash. Can he escape? Oh, Mules no. is on cooldown. Bloodstone heal is not enough, and that is a straight up dieback. And Setsu uh, with the roar of power. <laughs> wow. Finally, the remnant active on the Ember. There's no, there's no Manta, there's no BKB on Sylar. He's just, he's just dead. He's got buyback. But yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. Oh, no, wait, getting this, racks oh, bottom. All right, illusions plus catapults. My Fire! What are you doing? Now, at least uh, the benefit for Sirius is, of course, that because there's no Luna on the enemy side, they're, they're super threatened by base pressure. Even with both cores dead, RNG still have to be careful because they know Silar's got a buyback. I'm telling you, that Ags, man, that Ags is just not on the Luna. Yeah. I, I think E Blade would be good. I think Satanic is still good. Even if he went for yeah. Hurricane Pike, I wouldn't mind it. There's a lot of options. Still holding it. But I mean, they don't have the Lesh Rack, so. Okay. The, it's such a long cooldown. It's 140 second cooldown. So you have a 4,000 gold item that's only good once every two and some minutes. Two and change. When you need to fight all the time. All right. Through buybacks. Well, RNG going to get as much as they possibly can here while the Lesh is dead. Tetsu just heads straight over to top. Monet is just being a nuisance. He's jumping around everywhere. You know, one remnant left. Keeping everybody back. They can't, get, they, uh, they can't get Megas, I don't think. Uh, Glyph is still on cooldown. Maybe they get all the melees. This tier 3 is a bit of an obstacle. You get close. Oh. oh. Jukes the stick. Rosh up one minute to four minutes from now. Yep. And I, I just, I really, I, I'm looking at the items of Sirius. I, I've got a question of we talked about what we could have done from our uh, from our lash. He went for Yashikaya at okay. at forty three minutes. No, so he didn't have he didn't have either no of those either component. I, I feel like the blink into Hex was or even Octarine, either one I'm fine with. Yashikaya. I, either though. one of those is better than this. Y you already had mobility. It's a bit more magic damage, sure, but your main issue right now is finding a target and sticking to it along with your survivability. Why not just buy, a, like, you could have even just gotten, what, like a ghost E-Blade or something? Yeah, E-Blade on, on anybody is great here. Just just for save. Like, throw it on the TA if she doesn't have BKB. She's not going to do any damage. Yeah. She bursts so fast, though. I don't know if E-Blading is that reliable. But is it better than Yasha and Kai? I don't think Yasha Kai is that bad, personally. Be really, he's like really fast now. He's like 520 right now. Right. Jumping up onto the high ground does not get called. Hookshot coming in. That is going to be trouble for the clockwork. He's taking a lot of damage. Ravage catches everyone, but they are fighting on top of their shrine. Buyback from the clockwork. More fighting. Luna, Ooh. they do get the call over out of the TA. Can they focus down Setsu? Looks like they should be able to. The cogs push back. Luna still fighting. Buyback immediately from the TA. Lanham comes in, drops the it's hammer the on top of Silar. ASD going to try for the TP out. Yeah, he bought back uh, after they lost the Lesh. And now the Clockwork also going to be dead, looking like this might Isn't just be game? the end. That's game. Yeah. All right. What What even happened in this game? Was it just item choice? I can't think of anything else. I guess. T got real strong. I T mean, got real strong. They had, they, had to wait for their, they had to wait for their BKBs as well, right? Like, they... they they lost two or three fights in a row by not fighting as five. They didn't yep. use the Luna BKB timing at all. And then by waiting for the next two BKBs, they just gave RNG this window. I mean, everything fell off GG. for them, right? Between like Eclipse and Blessrek. Yeah. They can't fight through BKBs. And uh, there's a lot of there's like a lot of Eclipses mid game that were used against BKBs and just not utilized. So uh, I just felt like their skill usage was a little bit weak. In the once the BKBs came out in the late in the mid game late game, Ags was garbage. Clockwork kind of no Clockwork anything. Clockwork the natural thing happened to him right like that's just what happens to Clockwork in the mid yeah. to late game. Four staffs come out, people stop dying. He needed like a ghost scepter or something. Like TA with the melt strike bash is just really dangerous, especially when she has a butterfly like that because she d she was doing a ton of damage. She can like get four yeah. auto attacks out in the duration yeah. of the bash. It's like if crazy. you don't if you don't. Go scepter in time for the first stun, for example. You're just dead. 
or you'll lose like 90% of your health and somebody else is going to clean you up. Yep. So it's really hard for Clock to play like in there too. So you just want like what phase and bracers or something? So what what are yeah. the implications here? That that puts you serious. You for a buckler, yeah, buckler, buckler like bracers, like whatever, just small items. Yeah. Do we do we have the standings able to be pulled up? Uh, well, it's fine. Uh, RNG is going to move to two and one, but serious, they're one and three now. And they still have to play one more. Yeah, and that's against Ehome. Who, or C deck rather, who have yet to lose. Although they did just drop a game to Newbie, man. Every oh, this team in China. This is getting crazy. Holy crap! In three games, every team in China has won and lost at least. Not one. an. Well, that is nuts. We we only just dodged a uh, three or four way tie in SEA. Like it came down to the absolute wire. Same thing could happen here. We we could have one of these scenarios where there's a a big multi way tie. Wild, absolutely wild. This is uh, this is what we signed up for, folks. This yep. is what we love about Dota: parity. <laughs> you know, some games you have the same team winning yep. every year, year right. after year. Dota. We are heading to uh, Ehome versus Serenity next. All right. They're both towards the bottom of the table yeah, here, so pretty important that they they secure themselves some wins. Um, any more closing thoughts on that game, gentlemen? I can't remember, but I had a good point. <laughs> Thanks, Kev. We appreciate that. How about you go back to holding your? They breath? didn't have disables against content. Ember Spirit. Hmm? That's true. True. And he Ember? had ags, and then he has disables. What? For them. What are the like? It doesn't feel like there's very much guaranteed lockdown yeah. against. Can we Ember bring this up right? after the break? Because we get like all of four minutes, and I'd like to use the bathroom. Okay. All right, guys. We're gonna head to a break. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying all of the coverage here from Space Hub. We'll be back for our next game in a couple of minutes.